So hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will learn the glass morphism trick using Photoshop. I will also learn how to do this trick quickly in less than 30 seconds. So let's get right into it. So right here on Adobe Photoshop, I have my image already opened. So we'll be using three quick simple steps in getting this achieved. So step one, we we'll create a new layer. I will choose a rectangle to we'll draw a rectangle on the image. Okay, good. Then we add a round corner radius to it. It all depends on how big you are, but just get something like this. Step two, we duplicate this bottom layer, the image layer. Then we take it up our rectangle layer. Convert this to a smart object. Go to filter, blur, and cushion blur. Then give it a blur. Uh, 15 should be perfect for this image. Then we hit on OK. Then we clip max this to our rectangle too. Now step three. On the rectangle layer, we head straight to FX and we select gradient overlay. So we want to do a gradient overlay that runs from gray to white. So we change this guy to gray, just around there, and we hit on OK. And we change this to pure white, and we hit on OK. Then also the opacity, we could keep this one at 40, then head on to the pure white opacity. I keep that at 8 then hit on ok then the opacity we just change this to we just bring this down to around around 20 is fine then ok the angle at minus 125 let it run that way so we'll do the same thing to stroke running from gray to white so we'll change this guy to gray I'll we'll change this guy to pure white but note the opacity and fill still leave the same 100 100 then we'll hit on ok then pull this guy around from 2 3 4 it's fine then the opacity 40 is ok then you know this one the angle is around minus 125 now the stroke you just do an opposite of that 125 since that one is minus 125 leave this one at positive 125 then revert it so it will be opposite of the gradient overlay then when this is done you hit on ok and we have our glass morphism technique applied. So let's check that with a text. Wow, this is looking nice. So let's learn how to do this same glass morphism in less than 30 seconds. Because that is actually what the video is about. Now watch very closely. So how we are going about this is we will be using action files in Photoshop. Luckily, Photoshop has something we call action file. So what we'll do is we'll start our process again. Now before we start, we we'll record the process. Then when we are done, we we'll save the recording. So simply means we can replay our recording for every other glass morphism design we want to do. And in less than 10 seconds, Photoshop plays the action file and voila, we have it. Enough of the talking. Now, let's start the magic. So to bring out the action bar, we have to go to window then hit on action so we have this icon here with the default actions so see how we'll be creating our action file first off i'll just reopen this our background image again then we'll start up from there so i'm on the image right now so what i'll be doing i hit on the action icon then click on this plus icon here to start up a new action so when I hit on that, I could move this glass. And hit on record. Now everything I did before, I'll be redoing them now. But I'll speed up the video. So you see the trick at the end. So I come to my action files. And I click on this button here that says stop recording. So let's play our action file on this image. So we'll come to the action icon. These are action here, glass morphism 30 seconds. So we'll click on play. And it's created that for us. So we could just re, uh, add up our, our round corner videos like that. Then you could still resize it if you. Perfect. So let's try with this other one. There's a reason for this one. Now let's play our action file. Now you see it took the it took the rectangle at the bottom because the action file was created with a portrait and is a landscape image. So we could just resize and resize perfectly. 
as good as that then give our brother radius then if maybe you are still you are not liking the the, the blow you could still edit the blow you could just drop this down to like 10. So guys, that will come to the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I want you to like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon close to the subscribe button, so I mean, you will be notified when we post tutorials like this later in the future. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and catch you in the next tutorial. Peace out. Happy designing.